beautiful Cape Town, where we will be discussing these strategies and the impact these strategies could have, should have, on the development agenda in African countries. Debate and discussion and the meeting of minds is, is encouraged that not only help shape the agenda but lead to real business. It's been extraordinarily useful. I mean, there's a, a very, very good mix of, uh, of, of technology vendors uh, mixed with uh, customers, uh, users, real-world users, governments. So it's been, it's been absolutely fantastic. To have an honest, grown-up conversation about the issues facing healthcare is absolutely refreshing, and, and I spend my life trying to have this around the world. So to have that non-political, sensible debate, much more than, than I ever expected. That's the um, one unique event I have ever attended in my life. It was uh, really uh, very much different from all the other events uh, which I have been attending around the world, mainly because of the quality of the presenters you have uh, brought on board. These guys really come with their lifetime experiences and they are today coming and sharing that experience with the, everyone else. What I particularly like is the intimacy that is involved in the discussions. And that really teases out issues that sometimes otherwise would not be uncovered, so it's a, it's a, it's a very, very sensible approach. It's not often that you have the opportunity to get uh, public sector, private sector, people involved in education in the same place on a small enough and intimate enough scale to actually have uh, I think deeper conversations. It's really valuable to see a cross-section of opinions on, on the same question, which is uh, how do we succeed in implementing technology. But sales and good business will be a consequence of a good discussion. And it's very interesting hearing the, as they were described, the bureaucrats and the politicians debating with the educationalists and the academic side, and then sitting in the middle are, are we commercial organisations trying to understand how do we how do we work in this framework? And, and I think what came out is where a lot of those interests come into alignment, real success can be made. It was valuable to hear colleagues uh, on the supply side and their take on issues. Uh, it was also helpful, I think, to get an insight into the sorts of issues that are relevant in South Africa. If government officials and private company people are just locked in their own offices and they never actually get out and have an interactive discussion, you know, you, you're missing an opportunity to, to inspire the change. What I did value was being able to talk to people from different countries. Mm. So listening to the Egyptian uh, perspective, listening to the Kenyan perspective, listening to the Ugandan perspective. We had um, members of the public sector, the Deputy Minister of Health from Kenya, uh, Department of Health of South Africa, uh, the Commonwealth Secretariat and WHO speak. I met a lot of people, a lot of contacts, and um, they gave me a good insight into South Africa and the challenges and um, problems and the way they're being tackled. I certainly think that within government we're not communicating enough. And there are not enough platforms for the dialogue to happen. And the reason I came back here is because I found uh, the East Strategies Conference very meaningful because it provides a forum for governments to have a chance and opportunity to be able to interact and share. This kind of forum, I think, gives you the environment to get a more objective view, balanced by the different organizations giving their sort of marketing sales pitch, and the client the government being here saying, this is my need. This helps me as I uh, you know, sit down and do a strategy in my own unit I'm able to put the, the dots together. So I think uh, good information, that can influence our, our vision in Mozambique. So I learned a lot from today. There's some very provocative statements came out. I picked some of those up at the, uh, the, the drinks and the coffee breaks, the social session, sessions. And so there's some interesting dialogues going on. I think there's a lot of conversations will continue beyond this. From uh, the point of view of uh, the government, I think there was a nice mix. I was able to meet uh, so many prospective partners uh, whom we can put into our consortium. I have quite, I met quite a few interesting uh, uh, companies and with interesting concepts that I believe we, we can work with. We got to know how people are thinking, uh, especially the private sector. Uh, what are their thoughts and where are they going? We want to 
alleviate poverty, reduce suffering, and reduce unnecessary death. And if it is technology which will help us deliver that, then we need to promote that. You can have change without thinking strategy, and you can have uh, strategy without any change. And you know, we really need to see you know, the outcome of the strategy be an implementable plan that gets stood up and acted upon. Change management is change management, whether it's in Egypt or it's in Nigeria or it's in South Africa. It's important that we start the ball rolling. It's important for these countries to start the ball rolling. It's important for us as, as providers in the industry to be able to engage with the governments. I think some of these uh, ideas that uh, we, we, we spoke about today are really pertinent and uh, in, in mapping a way forward for, for the governments as well as private sector. I think having a joint partnership, uh, I think uh, hopefully in the very short term we'll be able to you know, deliver on uh, some very fast wins. Um, rolling out the e-strategies uh, in terms of e-government, e-health, we seem to be, to be agreeing that uh, we have moved somewhere. Bring us a case study of one place where it really worked and tell us why it worked. And that, I think, could take us way forward. Because sometimes we in government are too close to the issues. We can't see the hood from the trees. The private sector is pushing us to move together in that direction. And that, that, is, that is a big contribution, I can assure you. We can't do all these things. We need the industry. You stand in a vantage position to use the outcome of this uh, week to influence some decisions. I've had conversations with, with some of the service providers and once again I've, and I've mentioned to them that it's important for them to come on board and, and support and also provide the expertise as well so that we can plan the way forward. The more the better, the higher ranked the better, the more decision makers the better, the more countries the better and for this in Southern Africa I think South Africa is really the best place to conduct such a meeting. We have the first, second, third, fourth and fifth world in this country. Which means that it's the best proving ground and test ground for any technology going into Africa. I have every faith in that Africa will be the new frontier. There is nowhere else left.